Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Sintel Kawai. Yo, what's cracking? It's your boy. We are looking at the Peacemaker official gag reel. You guys, thanks so much for joining us. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching, because I think you are. Sintel with the intel, did you enjoy Peacemaker? Yeah, man, it was tons of fun. I'm a huge fan of James Gunn and his, uh, what is this, co his compilation. Style? Oh, his Yeah, what, what is it called? His ensembles. Okay. He is a, he is a wizard with ensemble cast. Now, did you do any reactions? I didn't check your channel did you do any reaction? oh yeah 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 okay. we bang, we bang, so bang if you guys want to see some fun reactions to peacemaker I, I suppose more enjoyable than ours was head over to Sintel's channel youtube.com slash Sintel where you can watch this whole uh, series reaction to peacemaker I'm sure it'll be on par in terms of the enthusiasm with uh, Greg from the real rejects all right let's jump into this <laughs> I'm just being honest wait a minute you hated it you, you was feel a peacemaker oh I didn't hate it I just didn't love it like you or Greg did I was just like it's fine I, the problem is I was watching it at the same time as season two of the boys and the boy it doesn't hold a candle to the boys for me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Like, I respect for, for that. me, it just does, it doesn't hold up. I'm just like, yo, the boys is the shit, and this was all right. <laughs> Gag reels are always fun nonetheless, so let's jump Facts. into it. Yeah. All right. Here we go. But I'm much more professional than this, I promise, and I am ready for duty um, whenever you call. <laughs> she just can't keep a straight <laughs> face. Looks like you. Like easy. Full blown game. Yeah. <laughs> The feet yeah. of the line. It looks like he's easy to talk to. I wanted to compliment you on your outfit, sir, and you know. He... <laughs> <laughs> Most of it's a proctophilic stuff. It's like fart porn. So, like, he's what they would call a Windy City tradesman, and I would be like a Chicago breeze eater. So he farts and I eat the farts. <laughs> or did you maybe actually see another guy that you actually didn't see, but you think you did? Hold on, did he did he improvise that line? Yo, he, he improvised a whole lot, man. John Cena is is a wizard when it comes to like shooting off the cuff, but that's because he's had his chops. He got his chops in WWE, which is as improv as it totally gets. That's why him and The Rock are so good at this, at that. Gotcha. Okay. All right. You know, I never put that together. That doing that sport or if you want to call it that. Doing that profession, you know, fine tunes your skills. It sharpens your yeah. skills at, at improv. I never thought about that. That's cool. You actually see another guy that you actually didn't see, but you think you did. That was a wink. <laughs> oh, damn, that looked real. <laughs> you get it? I get it pretty hard. Oh, shit. Sure. Right? That's what I'm saying. That looked real to the mug. Damn it! <laughs> Is my line, motherfucker! Look, I thought I could see the man's in your dick. <laughs> Just waiting on the fish line. Uh, I'm crying laughing. If I could, I don't know if it shows. If it doesn't, we're cool. Okay. I would do it, but I can't move my hands. I'm tied up. And then you look at the door. <laughs> and then you walk through it. It's the sound effect. If you're a really good actor, you should do it. <laughs> Empty you. You lost me a really good actor, boss. Every <laughs> man needs to ask Gabby's once in his life. Uh, Dad, I love you, but that's a hard pass for me. I don't know if that was a test on my grammar or you want me to get a disease. I'm not sure. It was a test on your grammar and it was also. <laughs> he's so good at the improv that he's yes. making these other actors crack up. Have you seen, uh, there's a there's a video out where he plays a drug dealer and he's talking about all the stuff that he's got in his bag, all the drugs that he has in his bag, and he improvs that and it's, it's, a, it's a killer, killer clip. But yeah, man, yo, John Cena, he's quick. <laughs> so I'm sure like I, I'm sure it had to be an absolute riot to be on set with this cat man and he's just just dropping them bang just bangers just gems <laughs> yeah because I mean you see that actor it's like what's his name or uh, Robert Patrick he was trying so hard to just like stay in character and like roll with his like no that's too funny I just gotta stop. Just I can't like, hold this. What do, you, what, yeah, yeah. what do you want me to do man this dude's absolutely hilarious yeah <laughs> did you know what a blumpkin is I don't give a fuck. Give me that again and then come right on him, Jim. Well, wait. Uh, from here? <laughs> you have to say what we do about him. Yeah. yeah. I literally jumped the gun. <laughs> wah, wah. Obligations, I can't say that due to branding. Gotcha. But that's cool. But we can certainly go to fucking Waffle House. But I can't say Mach 5? What kind of fucking world do I live in? <laughs> <laughs> that was my <like> dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't fuck, don't fuck Chewbacca. Little known fact, monkeys have teeth in their <laughs> What? Fair. Oh, That's I missed fair. it too. It's a very fair assessment. That's my dude, man. That dude, Vigilante, was hilarious. <laughs> they said you couldn't get a job. <laughs> That's as fast as I can say it, I think. <laughs> I'm an old man with false teeth. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> you want to know Google? Okay, quick. What's the compression ratio of a 426 Hemi? When did they start making the penny farthing? Is the Peacemaker sex dog going to come out so I can finally go fuck myself? <laughs> <laughs> Operation Dick Trap is a success. And oh, there. God. You know more than Google? Wow, quick. What's the capital of Alaska? Juno. Impressive. <laughs> You've won this round. Is there anything awkward about how I polish my helmet? Do you think how I polish my helmet is weird? Claiming, not pretending. Not pretending, I got it on it. Don't, don't listen to anything I say except for everything that I want you to listen don't to. Don't listen to anything I say except for everything I say. That's right. Oh no, I was counting me uh, sorry. Mirn, Mirn. <laughs> so it's just the five of us against an alien invasion? I'm so sorry. Don't, it's fine. I'm done, I'm done, I'm it's done. hysterical. I can't talk, I can't say the man's name. It's a Whose name? It's a Mirn. Mirn? <laughs> Isn't it Mirn's name? Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. I have to dress in all black and go into Mirning. <laughs> all right. It's, an, it's been a rough Mirning. Is that new? No, the, I think I'm supposed to have a prop spaceship that was not given uh, to me. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know where to go from. <laughs> oh, yeah, you hope it was dress up. You wish it was dress up. Ah, oh, fuck me. Dad? Oh, fuck. <laughs> what are you doing? What I should have done a long time ago. Give me explicit physical instructions on how to properly sexually climax. <laughs> it would have been a lot cooler <laughs> if a lot of us came in and then he talked me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yo, there's no way I'd be able to keep a straight face with this cat, man. <laughs> because he looks so sincere while he's doing this. That only sells it even better. Oh, this damn Yeah, the, yeah, if you're if you're being sincere about it instead of like ribbing and winking, then it makes it even funnier, yeah, for sure. Questions on how to properly sexually climax? It would have been a lot cooler if economist came in and then he tossed me. Oh shit, I'm not saying it right, sorry. Uh, I just said how much I wanted to kill someone with the chain. Oh fuck, sorry. I mean, it would have been a lot cooler if Economos came in and he was like, hey. Fuck, sorry. Economos came in and he was, and he, fuck, sorry. And then he tossed me the chainsaw across the room and I was like, salad toss. Are we good with that? No. It's like a dog humping your leg. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of those moments where you're just so desperate that you're hoping it can be stitched together because you, you, you have no idea how any of this works. If you're not a director or an editor, you're just like, I'm sure that, like, surely some, you could just cobble this together. No? Okay. We'll do it again. We'll just, just do it again. <laughs> Salad toss. Are we good with that? No. It's like a dog humping your leg. You just gotta let him finish. <laughs> That's a strange philosophy on dogs. <laughs> no, man. No. Fuck no. No. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's gone! <laughs> this dude. He's such a weird looking dude, man. <laughs> I know my last name is Smith, that's a generic fucking name. The reason it's Smith is because we came over as asshats, and I had to change it on LSI. My great grandfather, Ezekiel Asshat the Third. <laughs> Changed his name, changed his very name. <laughs> he owned a fucking haberdashery. <laughs> and he changed his name, all right? I come from a long line of hat makers that happen to look like asses. <laughs> fucking Telly Zabala's Freddie Stroma, James Gunn, what the fuck, dude? Also, you're compassionate about Wait, hate, but not brutally murdering people. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, always like blowing the scene yeah. with her laughing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Say that. All right. <laughs> I I know it's a word. <laughs> Compassionate. Okay. Just to call my wife and tell her I'm a mo. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at him. <laughs> I know it's a word. <laughs> okay. Just to call my wife and tell her I'm a mo. <laughs> Just, oh, got this tattoo the next. I'm so fucking off on this. Where are we? 
<laughs> We're in a van down by the river. I called them economos. What the fuck do you want? Right. Fuck you, die beard. Okay, oh like it's the coverage is on me. So let's just. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, right? Drops the barn Can I do my scene, it. please? You say. Does he drop the bomb? <laughs> I need you to do something else for me. You need a stool sample. <laughs> <laughs> Someone off camera laughed. <laughs> that has to be James Gunn, right? Who's off camera laughing? Oh, probably. Oh, I'm sure. This. <laughs> this fucking utility belt sucks ass. If he smells your pee, he knows you're the boss. Is that? <laughs> Is that right? If you piss on him. <laughs> Dude, if you piss on him, you're you're his boss. What? <laughs> oh, the dance sequence. I would have loved to see the outtakes from the dance sequence. Like, right? they, you know they shot that a bunch of times. Like, each angle they had to do several times to get right. It was intricate. It was fun, man. <laughs> it's look there. <laughs> Yo, judo master, that dude was hilarious. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he hit his head. <laughs> Yeah, Vigilante was really good with the facial expressions, for sure. It seems like they had a lot of fun making this. Oh, I bet. I bet all those sets were off the chain. All the, all the Guardians. All the... Um, um, God damn it. Suicide Squads. Yeah. Well, the one Suicide Squad. Eagly! What? <laughs> this guy was like, as weird looking as he was, he was equally talented. Yeah. Like with the w improv comedy. And the yeah, me believing he was a butterfly when he wasn't at, at the time. Yeah. Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ugh. I hate fake blood. That about fits my expectations. I mean, they say uh, James Gunn is an actor's type of director. And the reason why uh, actors do so well is that he really knows how to play towards actor's strengths. I've seen other John Cena films before and he's not that good to me. I mean, personally, he's just not, not really the person that kind of like moves uh, the needle for me. I but he, he carried Peacemaker, man. And I'm sure it had a lot to do with, you know, him being allowed to improv a lot of the stuff and be in his element while he still, you know, was able to play Peacemaker. All right. uh, for all of the whatever crap show that uh, the last Fast and Furious was, I thought John Cena was actually awesome in that. Like, uh, he, he like leaned in. Did you see it? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought I thought he leaned into that character hard. And he like <laughs> he knew exactly what that movie was that he was signed up yeah. for. He knew exactly mm -hmm. how much to like be that dude and go like over the top with it cuz it made it fun. I thought he was actually a great addition to the to the series because like he gets it. He understands mm -hmm. this isn't high art. This is just it's goofy. And it's like <laughs> He knew the material better than the director did. Like, he understood what genre he was in. The director mm -hmm. did not. Because <laughs> if you go back and watch, it's like the movie is taking itself very seriously at a certain point, And it's like trying to induce tears. And I'm like, this is not that kind of movie. <laughs> <This> is... <laughs> yeah. We just want to see violence, cars doing cool things, and explosions. Basically, yeah. Um, just, just, just give us that. For all my reservations about the Peacemaker show, it seems like the kind of show that I would have actually had fun being part of making because they just mm. looked like they had so much fun on set every single day. Like, that's the best thing you could possibly ask for. It's like a Tarantino set. Like, that, that, I hear Tarantino sets are off the chains. Like, you know, every time they go through a roll of film, they, like, take a shot. They're like, mm. why do we do this? Because 
because we love film. And they all, everyone shouts it in unison. Like, he makes sure he runs that set. It's like a fun, <laughs> fun house. It seems like that would have been a cool thing to be part of. I enjoyed yeah. this a lot more than the show itself. If that. Oh! Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I take it you are not looking forward to season two then. <laughs> if the audience wants me to watch it, I'm going to watch it. But I kind of like... After the first episode, I'm like, I'm already feeling a certain way about this show, but I'm going to keep watching it because now I'm committed. And at the end, it stuck the landing for me. I was like, okay. By the end, I'm like, okay, I see what the aim was and I, I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I just didn't love it. Watching the boys at the same time wasn't helping. It was just like... <laughs> the, 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 the you know, it's funny, man. I would have never thought that. I would have thought the opposite for you. I would have thought you would have enjoyed Peacemaker far more than the boys. Because the boys, is it, because it's so overly violent and unnecessarily violent, but I still enjoy it. I thought that would have been the thing that turned you off. Um, so. We can have that discussion another time, unless the audience wants to see that discussion. Like, oh, I got, okay. Yeah, because like, I don't want to get into it, because that, that'll completely diverge the discussion here so big truth big truth yeah i really enjoyed seeing their uh collaboration behind the scenes and whatnot and i feel like i kept calling her hardcore heart court hardcore it's Har just hardcore Har hardcore Har Har court. hardcore i feel like she gets a pass for like breaking character so much because that's james gunn's lady yes his little fiance his yeah. little squeeze so <laughs> so you get you get a pass and get and just messing up all, all the scenes <laughs> with your laughing at least barbara patrick was trying to hold it together but you just saw him break completely. <laughs> but like you said, man, to sit there and watch and be on set and watch people in their in their element just be dope. We talked very very briefly about you know about how WWE or WWF works, and the vast majority is is improv. You know, if you see somebody in their wheelhouse just dropping gems, you used to call it back in the day, uh, jonesing on people or playing the dozens or, or talking trash or whatever it is, and friends just get together and just riff on each other and just talk trash about each other. And it's really good, even though you might be the one getting talked about you know to see how quick people can come up with some of these incredible things it's just it's just tons of fun and that's just John Cena's wheelhouse man he may not be the most talented in a lot of different things man but when it comes to him being off the cuff yeah, <laughs> yeah he's some he's something that you gotta watch you guys thanks so much for hanging out hopefully you enjoyed this you guys once more follow Sintel with the intel he's got his reactions to peacemaker on his channel youtube.com slash Sintel subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell icon please all notifications vote this up to let youtube know you're enjoying what you're watching thanks again for hanging out i'm jabby koi this is hey it's your boy Sintel. peace out